All right, good morning. Good morning, world. Good morning to everyone that's out there. It is a beautiful, sunny, hot day in November, New Jersey. Um, it's 2020, if you're watching this in the future. Uh, I got a little problem with the Chrome Big Pack. It's not a big problem, it's just a little problem, which we have from time to time. The, uh, I don't think my knotters are getting greased and my uh, blow-off system is not working correctly. Believe it or not. So that's, uh, that's what we're going to be addressing today. Uh, today we're going to address that. Uh, but actually we're going to address it right now because we'll be bailing, uh, bailing this corn fodder today. The remainder of it that I have shredded. I mean I'm down to the last... I'm down to the last few, uh, excuse me, I'll pick my nose. I'm down to the last few acres just here at home. Wow, this baler is cutting ruts like there's no freaking tomorrow as I come around that corner. It is wet out here. It is really wet out here. Uh, next next year I'm going to be purchasing a, uh, a uh, deep tillage ripper. And we're going to rip this ground uh, pretty deep so we get some better drainage and some nutrients that can flow down into the subsoil and possibly uh, increase our yield on corn. Yes, I know, I'm going to increase yields on corn. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, not that I have to, it's just that I want to. Uh, I'd love to see 300 bushel corn consistently, which isn't going to happen, but it would be nice. Uh, so anyways, uh, I'm going to meet you on top of the bale. Okay. Probably talk about what I'm doing, huh? Uh. Yeah.
Okay, so what you saw before, just a little bit ago, was me playing with these little pipes. I was bending them. Well, those are the blow-off pipes. So every, twice per bale, the air compressor builds up pressure within the tank, and when it gets to a certain point in the bale length, it blows the nodders off, generally in the beginning and at the end. I've got it set to blow off five seconds each time. So... And it generally keeps the nodders free and clear. Now, behind the nodders where there's a... Uh, and you can see that I've stopped because Teresa had some problems and I had to go help her. We have... Fodder brings out all the little things that are slightly worn and brings them right to the forefront. But anyway, so behind the nodders where the tensioners are, it does not blow off at all. It just doesn't blow that area off. And it creates an issue with the twine tension. And that is what Teresa's problem is right here. Uh, when, uh, in a second, when I'm done. Oh, there goes a four-wheeler just went zipping past. Uh, in a second, I'll have, we'll be going. But the, uh, the dirt behind there, it builds up and it kind of packs the tensioners a little bit more than they should. Uh, and causes too high a twine tension, which then in turn causes the knot to cinch tight against the bill hook when the knife arm or the wiper arm is wiping it off. And then it can't wipe it off and it's stuck in the bill hook because it's cinched it too tight. So that is too high of a, tw of a twine tension. So that was the problem that we were having. having. So as you sit here watching the tractor go back and forth because I didn't shut the PTO off, uh, that is what had happened there. Um, we have produced somewhere, let's see, three, four, five hundred, six hundred. Yeah, let's see, one, two, three, four, five hundred, about five hundred and fifty bales is what we've done uh, so far in fodder. Um, I might have 50 more bales to bale if the weather holds out for me uh, on these two farms where I've got, you know, where I got the, uh, oh, there we go, um, where I had corn. Now, I had given a neighbor 20 bags of corn. You're going to hear William. You make too much noise. He just makes too much noise sometimes. Anyways, I gave him 20 bags of corn, and in return, I wanted the fodder, so... Hopefully, in that 50 acres that he's planted, I'll be able to, you know, make another, you know, couple hundred bales. Hopefully. We'll see. Um, I got to talk to him anyway. But that's the story. So, if he, get, if he got that corn planted where it belonged or how it was supposed to go in and fertilize correctly, and he's getting it combined, it should be dry enough, and there is my cue to stop it.